use so, like in so many different ways combined yeah. with a monomic filter um, so-called but uh, we will make it short and sweet today around 20 15 20 minutes today guys so pay attention because that is what we teach normally only our students so Alfonso please go ahead tell us how you teach and use the method for yourself and for your students, absolutely. of course. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, space repetition, something I think that's becoming more popular these days. And honestly, in my perspective, I have never heard about it in my life, but I have applied it before. Actually, matter of fact, when I started learning Chinese, this is what I did unconsciously. And I think it's it's very tied in my perspective, and this is what I tell my students. It has to be, and it's naturally tied to your likes and passions and hobbies in life in general. So when I started learning Chinese, I was amazed by the characters, particularly, and the pronunciation. And so I went down a rabbit hole of finding out more and more and more. You know, there was a characteristic in my life where I had only lessons every Saturday for about three hours. So that's definitely not enough consistency for such a different language as Chinese. But how did I manage to, you know, really break through with the language and, you know, pretty much every classmate that I had just got stuck in there and never did any progress? It was thanks to spaced repetition, but at that time I didn't realize it was spaced repetition. It was more something of me researching about the language and learning probably two to three new words every single day consistently. The, you know, the thing that fueled that drive was not a particular discipline that I wanted to do, was a passion. I was just in love with Chinese. I was like, gosh, this language is amazing. Look at this word, look how, you know, this is how it's written. <coughs> this is an awesome language. And that's what really drove me into, you know, becoming a little bit better every single day. And I would do that throughout the day in no fixed, you know, chunks of time. It was not that I said, you know, Monday to Tuesday, I'm going to, you know, do hey, I mean, in the morning, then like, I don't know, two, three hours later, it was whenever I could. And magically, whenever 